Hello YouTube, it's Das Gregor, and welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about dual GPUs and Bumblebee. If any of you have noticed, or might have noticed in my last video with my screen fetch, uh, there were a few spec changes on this. Uh, one, for instance, uh, my CPU is now an Intel Core i7-9750. It has the GPU GE Force GTX 1650, which if my first video had gone well and proper and I hadn't had technical difficulties with my microphone, that should have said Intel. Uh, but it's beside the point. And of course, there are 32 gigs of RAM in this machine. I bought a System76, a Gazelle. I needed something. My old laptop has been falling apart the hinges don't work. I've got keys that don't function. My escape key hasn't worked for so long that I'm so used to hitting the cap lock key since I had remapped it that having a system that has an escape key, it's been a terrible time remembering that the escape key works. So with all the problems that I was having with the hardware, afraid that eventually this thing was going to fall apart on me on the old one, I decided I would try out something new. Now, I, I purchased a System76 for my wife last year. She really likes it. I got another one of the little nooks that they do, the Meerkats, and my son uses it. He really likes it. And it's about time that I got myself something as well. The Gazelle has been really nice. There are a lot of learning curves that I've had to deal with. One of them, of course, is having a dual GPU. The good folks at System76 have done an awesome job answering my questions, making me understand what needs to be done, and I have learned a lot in the last couple of weeks since I've had this. And so I want to share with you uh, what I've learned using Bumblebee in Gen 2 and how to make it so that you can be running off of the Intel for most everything that's going on and just run the NVIDIA for certain applications. So if we look at a few things, I looked at the Gen 2 wikis, I looked at some Arch wikis, I did some searches because I have been trying to get this to work for a little over a week, failed miserably, blew up the system a few times. Now, what I would do is I would copy my partition into another partition, do my testing, because I didn't want to break what I had working well in my primary partition. I even attempted to do this within Calculate so I wouldn't have to worry about uh, the, so much of the compiling since it's able to use binaries. There are many things that I did that seemed to blow up. I'd get errors if I was using Calculate, for instance, since it logs into or it goes right into a login manager where the login manager might crash sometimes. Or I had a repeating login manager where I'd log in the login, put my credentials in. I'd see a flash of the desktop and go right back to credentials. I'd have other cases where I'd log into the login manager and then I'd get a blinking cursor and it wouldn't go any further. I had other times I'd log in and I'd get a solid cursor and the system was completely froze. So after a lot of troubleshooting, this is what I've come up with that works perfectly. So the first thing you want to do, and I'm going to grab my notes here so I can go through them. The first thing you want to do when installing Bumblebee in Gen 2 is edit your make.conf. Now, as I said, my previous videos, I had sound problems and some other issues. So I've already gone through this whole thing and I wanted to do it as I did it with you to show you each step, but it is what it is. I don't feel like starting over again. So I'm just gonna show you what needs done. So first thing we want to do is we want to do a sudo nano dash w slash etsy portage make dot conf inside of the video card section right here you're going to see i have intel i965 i always put fb dev as a backup just in case and we want to add if you don't have in there nvidia once you've done that we want to save that file 
The second thing you want to do, if you're running multiple kernels or you've installed multiple kernels in Gen 2, you want to make sure that the kernel you want to do this on is your default kernel. You can check this out by doing eselect kernel list. You will see that I have the Linux 4.19.86 kernel because that's the stable kernel and that's what I initially started with. And then I wanted to try out the 5.4 kernel, so I took the latest that Gen 2 had and I installed and got everything working with the Linux 5.4.10 kernel. I want to be able to build this on Linux 5.4.10, so that's what I've done. And if you don't have that set correctly, you would want to do a sudo eselect kernel set and use the number that is the kernel that you're in and you want to use. It's very important that this is set properly so that drivers and such will compile against the correct kernel. If you do this against the wrong kernel, it will not work proper. You will have problems. So since I already have that, in my case it would have been two. We don't really have to do anything. We're going to go ahead and erase that line and move on to the next step. The next step will be to emerge three things. So we do. In your case, I have a, a, a sudo command that does that automatically, so I don't always have to type that for emerge. But you do a sudo emerge NVIDIA drivers. Bumblebee and virtual GL. Virtual GL has some a nifty little tool that we're going to use a little bit later to test and verify. So we would run that. Now in my case, the first time that we did this and in my other video, oops, we wanted to do an AV there. So emerge dash AV. The reason why we want to do an AV is it always asks and gives you a verbose. Now, because I've already done this, it's going to show you that it's going to install Virtual GL, NVIDIA drivers, and Bumblebee. It also installed about four other applications in my case. Now, depending upon what needs to be done with your system, you could have anything from seven applications, most likely, up to whatever might still need to be updated. But in my case, it was four initially, but because I've already done it, we have these three drivers. So we don't need to re-emerge that. The next thing you'll want to do is update your user. So to, to add him or her to the Bumblebee group. So you do that by sudo user mod dash a dash g Bumblebee I can spell Bumblebee, and then your username, in my case, Das Gregor. Once you've added that, you'd hit enter, and it brings you, it puts you into that group. Then what we want to do is edit a few files. Now in my testing, when I didn't edit these files, I ran into all kinds of weird issues, freezes, and such, even though my testing of it seemed to work okay. So what I have found is, and I use OpenRC, so we're going to be looking at the init scripts. So one of the first things we want to do is edit the environment variables for Bumblebee. So we do a sudo nano-w slash etsy env d 99 bumblebee. That's what it is for me. When you first look at this, all you're going to see are these first three lines, the two comments and this VGL readback equals PBO. This is what you want to add. LD path, all in caps, equals quotation and the directories to your NVIDIA libraries. Now in my case, since I have a multi-lib setup, I have the lib64 directories with lib64 NVIDIA lib, and I also have the 32-bit directories user lib NVIDIA lib. Once you put that in there, that will save you a lot of headache down the road that I ran into. To make sure that everything is up to date once you've done that, you want to go ahead and run sudo env-update. That will regenerate and set everything up for what you just edited. The next thing you want to edit 
is your Bumblebee script. So we do sudo nano dash w slash etsy init dot init um, dot d bumblebee. And what you want to do is go ahead and comment out the depends lines where it talks about needing XDM and VGL. If you're using, for instance, startx command like I do, I don't use a login manager, then you don't want it to depend upon XDM. And I have found in some cases VGL, VGL failing to load properly at startup. So I've also left that out. So I've just gone ahead and, and done that. That was one of the things that I found, I believe, in the Gen2 wiki. Now, if you are using XDM, such as in a calculate environment, what you're going to also want to add down here to the start script, you're going to want to add sleep 30 ampersand ampersand space. What that's going to do is when your login manager starts up, it's going to give you about 30 seconds or so to log in with your credentials go into your desktop manager or window manager, whatever you're using, before it starts Bumblebee. Well, I found would happen if I didn't have this in there and I left everything the way it was and left even the, the depending on XDM, as I would either log in to the manager, I would see my window manager or desktop manager start to load up, it would flash and it would go right back to the login screen it would do this numerous times. I could not figure it out until I realized it was because Bumblebee was starting before I was logging in and it was causing this to happen and it didn't like it. So by giving it that little sleep command, it's, it kind of lengthens the time that it gives you to go ahead and put that in there and lets you get in there without any problems. Now, if you're using Xinit, the .xinit RC script, you're just doing start X, you don't need to put that in there at all. It's good just to comment out the depend lines. So once we've done that, we can go ahead and save it and get out of that. And at this point in time, before you do anything else, you're going to want to reboot your system. By rebooting your system, it's going to make sure that the NVIDIA drivers are working. It's going to make sure that uh, you can still log into your system, that you can still start your XDM to log into it through the login manager, or you can do a start X to get into it. You want to make sure that everything is still functioning and there aren't any problems. In my case, with what I've shown you so, so far, everything has been great. So once you've rebooted and everything is proper, you go into your window manager or desktop manager, you come back into your terminal or console, and we want to do a little bit of testing. So what we do is here we're going to run glx spheres 64 and you will see that that is running a little GUI interface there and you will see that the renderer is using Intel UHD graphics 630. This is important because everything that you start right now is going to run automatically with the Intel driver. So we go ahead and get out of that by hitting Q. Since we know now that Intel works, at this point in time, what you would want to do is go ahead and start the Bumblebee service for testing it. And to do that, we would do a sudo slash etsy init.d bumblebee start. Now, in my case, because I've already gone through all of these things, it's already started, so I don't need to do it. But at this point, we haven't set up Bumblebee to start up on boot up, so it isn't working right now. So this will start it. And if it's proper, then you'll see it come up and say, OK, and everything's good. In the testing and in the video that I initially did, that's how it worked. So we're going to say that it did that. At this point in time, we want to see if it will pull the NVIDIA graphics for our next test. So we do opt-to-run. That is the command you use with Bumblebee to tell it that you want to use the NVIDIA card now to run the program. So we do GLX spheres 64. 
and you will see it pulsating like crazy. And if we come over here and look, it says the open render is the GE Force GTX 1650 PCIe. I'll go ahead and quit that. And if we take a look again, here's where we ran it with just GLX Sphere 64, and we're getting the Intel driver. Down here, we're running it, and we're getting the GE Force GTX 1650. That tells you everything is working. Now, had you not put the LD path inside a 99 Bumblebee, then at this point when you tried to run this particular command, you probably would have gotten errors about how it could not find the drivers and it didn't know where to look. That's what that fixes. Now, if I followed the Gen 2 wiki about what to do, it would make it so that OptiRun GLX Sphere 64 would work, but it would break the Intel. So that's why after looking at a few things, I figured out that's what needs to be done, editing that env.d99 bumblebee file and putting in the LD path. That fixes that. Now, if everything is successful up to this point, what you're going to want to do is a sudo rc-update add bumblebee start no, not start, default. And what that will do is add Bumblebee to your default startup when you boot the system. We've already done that, of course, in my previous video that I messed up because of sound. I didn't feel good with the sound quality. I'm sorry, I keep saying that, but it really upset me. <laughs> I was really hoping it would work well because I wanted to show you each step as we did this. Since everything's working and we've now added it to the startup, you should be able to successfully reboot the system go back into your desktop manager and do these tests one more time and as we just saw they work everything is running when you run one application it's running it with the intel when you use opta run it's running it with bumblebee and nvidia the only other thing that i could do is i could look into seeing what it would take to make it so that my window manager didn't start with NVIDIA. At this time, I think I'm okay with it. Most everything I run out, out from here on out will be, of course, using the Intel GPU. And if I use the Opta Run, it will use the NVIDIA. So if there's a game I want to do, uh, take an example, I, I do enjoy my Minecraft. If I just run Minecraft by itself, it will use the Intel driver. And when doing that, I still get about 45 to 60 frames per second. And it seems to run very well because it's a very good machine. If I go ahead and you put OptiRun at the beginning of that command to run it, I still get 60 frames per second. It's not going to shoot up to anything crazy. But I do notice that things run smoother, that thing, the panning around, the movement, the flow is just so much better. It's going to make it night and day with your applications. And the great thing about this using Bumblebee is now you can run some of those games that you want to run without having to uh, restart the system and make sure that you're running strictly NVIDIA graphics. So great way to set up a hybrid system with dual GPUs, Intel, and uh, in this case, NVIDIA. Now, as I said, I struggled a lot with getting this to work. I am not an expert. I'm not sure if I'd be able to do too much help, but the things that I've documented here, the things I've talked about, they've really helped me out setting it up, going through these steps to make it function properly. So good luck, I hope, if anybody who does try this with theirs, I do hope it works for you. So it's morning, evening, noon or night. Whatever you happen, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks, guys. Bye.